So Google recently released their best in class large language model, Gemini 1.5 Ultra. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything that you need to know about Gemini 1.5 Ultra under five minutes. Let's dive in. So February 15, they released this next generation large language model and they are saying it is 10x what existing models can do. So here's an example, good illustration from them. They are saying that Gemini 1.5 Ultra can handle 1 million tokens. That is already 10x of what GPT-4 Turbo can handle. That is 128,000 tokens. So it can handle one hour long video, 11 hours of audio, over 30,000 lines of code. That's just unbelievable. Or over 700,000 words. Now, this is just one use case. In their research use cases, they were able to extend the context window up to 10 million tokens, but they were working on figuring out how they can optimize the process and reduce the processing time to response. Because right now it is actually taking up to 60 seconds or two minutes to finish the output. And it is complex for them to, you know, scale that model to 10 million tokens without having unreasonable processing times like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Let's talk about the technical architecture of the model. Gemini 1.5 is built upon our leading research on transformers and mixture of experts. So MOE stands for mixture of expert architecture with a traditional transformer function as a large neural network. MOE models are divided into expert neural networks. So instead of a large neural network giving you answer, MOEs figure out that, you know what, let's just activate this particular part of the neural network because it generally gives better outputs for this specific kind of question. So that's why MOE is working better. And that's why you can have big neural networks and reduce down their processing time because you're not activating every single layer in the neural network. It's better if I just show you the speed of the animation. Use that kind of GUI the other demos have. This is what it looked like before on the original 3JS site. And here's the modified version. It's the same scene, but it added this little slider to speed up, slow down, or even stop the animation on the fly. It used this GUI library the other demos have, set a parameter called animation speed, and wired it up to the mixer in the scene. Like all generative models, responses aren't always perfect. There's actually not an init screen recording of example prompts using a 402 page PDF of the Apollo 11 transcript which comes out to almost 330,000 tokens. We started by uploading the Apollo PDF into Google AI Studio and asked, find three comedic moments, list quotes from this transcript and emoji. This screen capture is sped up. This timer shows exactly how long it took to process each prompt and keep in mind that processing times will vary. The model responded with three quotes, like this one from Michael Collins, I'll bet you a cup of coffee on it. If we go back to the transcript, we can see the model found this exact quote and extracted the comedic moment accurately. Then we tested a multimodal prompt. We gave it this drawing of a scene we were thinking of and asked, what moment is this? The model correctly identified it as Neil's first steps on the moon. Notice how we didn't explain what was happening in the drawing. Simple drawings like this are a good way to test if the model can find something based on just a few abstract details. And for the last prompt, we asked the model to cite the time code of this moment in the transcript. Like all generative models, responses like this won't always be perfect. They can sometimes be a digit or two off. But let's look at the model's response here. And when we find this moment in the transcript, we can see that this time code is correct. Google AI Studio, we uploaded the video and asked, find the moment when a piece of paper is removed from the person's pocket and tell me some key information on it with the time code. This screen capture is sped up and this timer shows exactly how long it took to process each prompt. And keep in mind that processing times will vary. The model gave us this response, explaining that the piece of paper is a pawn ticket from Goldman and Company pawnbrokers with the date and cost and it gave us this timecode 1201. When we pulled up that timecode, we found it was correct. The model had found the exact moment the piece of paper is removed from the person's pocket and it extracted text accurately. Next, we gave it this drawing of a scene we were thinking of and asked, what is the timecode when this happens? This is an example of a multimodal prompt where we combine text and image in our input. The model returned this timecode 
1534. We pulled that up and found that it was the correct scene. Like all generative models, responses vary and won't always be perfect. But notice how we didn't have to explain what was happening in the drawing. Simple drawings like this are a good way to test if the model can find something based on just a few abstract details, like it did here. These are just a couple examples of what's... So I've already have requested access to access Gemini 1.5 Pro in Google AI Studio. So as soon as I will get the access, you will get the first scoop on it. But meanwhile, I've dove into their technical research paper that came along with this blog post release. And I want to show you a couple of graphs. The first one is this, where they uploaded a three hour long video that is 2.8 million tokens, so practically a movie. And they able to ask questions and got successful answers. So you see, unsuccessful retrieval is a red block, but they were able to get almost every single time successful retrieval. Same thing with audio that was 22 hours long. So imagine you are sitting in a meeting, you don't wanna pay attention to this useless information that they are conveying, but you're only looking for a specific piece of information. So you don't sit in the meeting. At the end of the meeting, you take the transcript or take the audio and just ask questions and you'll be able to get perfect answers to your questions. And this table is really important to take a look at. Gemini 1.5 Ultra is a significantly smaller model compared to Gemini 1 Ultra because Gemini 1 is the state of the art biggest model that is available for consumers to use today. Gemini 1.5 Ultra, on the other hand, is a mid-tier model that is still in development and only accessible for limited developers. But still, this smaller model, this smaller model was able to win 54% of the time when compared to the biggest model that is yet available for us. But when you compare it to 1.0 Pro, the similar size model, but from the previous generation, it is winning almost 87% of the time. So this goes to show how powerful this model is. So unbelievable rapid progress of AI is happening. If you want to keep up to date to it, consider subbing to the channel. As soon as we get access to Gemini 1.5 Pro on Google Studio, we will start posting videos and content about that, thoroughly testing it. So 